Hi creatives, it's day 10 for my creative challenge, the final. I've been doing different challenges over these past few weeks in lockdown and today is my last one. So I decided I'm gonna go with creative makeup because that's what I love to do. And of course, three-dimensional makeup using my 3D eyebrows. And also yesterday I customized these lashes as well. You've seen I've already done half of my face kind of inspired by flowers and beauty of nature. On my hair, I'm using Aqua Soft Cream by Krylon. It's a really great product, particularly I'm using it on Halloween for the Joker characters. It's great on the hair and just really looks very natural. I've pinned my sunflowers on my hair as well and I'm wearing mesmerized contact lenses. I have blocked eyebrows already and I'll show you what kind of eyebrow I'll be putting on myself. So that's gonna go there afterwards. And then I also have this lash piece on the bottom. So I will start with my eye and I'm gonna be using yellow as my base. The reason I decided to go for quite a colorful look is I'm using a complementary color wheel, which is here. So if I'm looking at the yellow, the opposite is purple, so yellow is my base. And then I'm having some red as well, and I have the green. So I have a kind of complementary contrasty colors uh, going on here. I did for my look. And these are some of the eye designs. I'm gonna be using a Makeup Forever Flash Curl Palette, a yellow uh, green. Applying it all over my eyelid. So I want that intensity for my eye. Repel and patting that on. And now I'm gonna be creating the graphic liner which I have over here. So first thing that I will do, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Electric Eyeshadow Palette. And then I'll take Prep and Prime Fixing Spray, spray directly on it is that uh, light texture and uh, I think this is a Krylon uh, painter's because brush. Because it is a crease area, it will crease. And comparing my sides, of course, when you, you know, obviously I have a hooded eyelid slightly, so it's a bigger line than like that and when you open it, it's just a line. It's all about kind of optical illusion and symmetry. My next detail on the eye. Here I have like a purple line going, so I'm gonna continue here as well. And I'm using the same electric eyeshadow palette. I'm using this shade, it's like slightly glittery. And slightly smaller brush, this one is my Kitco aligner brush. Using again fixing spray. Wings are my favorite thing to do. I just love everything to do with triangles and wings. And why I chose these wings is because so they match my eyebrows. So it's gonna go really nicely in line with my eyebrows when I will apply them afterwards. Cara, Lash Express, and after that I will apply some lashes as well. Uh, Eldora lashes, my favorite. Applying the highlighter, so I use this kind of like a bluey mint color. And this is a MAC lipstick palette actually. I'm gonna be using my finger, so I'm just blending these two together. I have this sugar pale uh, pigment in Lumi, it's a loose eyeshadow. You will see what a difference that made. Some of that minty blue, and I'll put it in the inner corner of my eye as well. So, first, I'm using the MAC palette.
I will apply some glitter over my eyeshadow. This is um, Stargazer paint glitter. I'm applying it um, with a glitter glue by Gypsy Shireen. Just a tiny amount goes a long way with this product. Glitter glue on the eyelid first, and then I take the glitter directly from the pot and pile it over. Just applying some lush glue on them. Silicone prosthetic snappy G. Applying some glue on here as well. So let's start with my eyebrows first. This is my eyebrow, and I'm just gonna be putting it over my when my brow, which, I, which is already blocked. I'm just pressing it in. It will take some time to dry as well. What I do, I take cotton pad and I just kind of keep it there. For this blush, I'm using Kevin Aquan blusher from Jewel Pop Palette. This is kind of like a spring inspired look. Very flowery, very um, fun and colorful. Taking my lashes, which I customized, and I'll be applying them on the bottom as well. The lashes on. So these are Eldora lashes. I let the eyelash glue to dry for at least 30 to 60 seconds when it's fully sticky. With the same yellow I used for base, I have it here on my palette. As I said, a yellow is a great color. It's a contrast for blue. Today I have peace and quiet at home because daddy is at home and they went for a walk with the kids. How amazing is that? Like when you're a mother and you just want to create your own creative things. It's just so nice to have peace and quiet for your creativity. Quite electric pink from this palette here and using fixing spray. MAC pigment in Fuchsia. Really like this pigment. Slightly iridescent. Now where I will need my rose petals. So I'm gonna make it symmetrical on this side. It's quite an easy way to customize. Here I have Mero Metallic Powder in gold using a, a fixing spray. Yeah. I do love Mero uh, liquid, um, mix, mixing liquid, but I just run out of it, so I'm improvising with fixing spray, which is a great alternative if you run out. And I did order it, but I think at these times right now it's going to be a long wait for delivery. glue. I will apply it on the petals directly and I'll be adding some gems. I have some gems, very gem picking tool as well, here. I'm 
thank you for watching and thank you for watching all my 10 challenges hope you enjoyed today's creative look and see you later bye bye